Not all languages count by tens. Some count by fives, or sixes, or eights, or twelves, or twenties, or even by sixties. English has traces of a base twelve system, which is why we say eleven and twelve instead of one teen and two teen. French has vestiges of a base twenty system, which is why the word for seventy in French is soixante, literally sixty ten, and the word for eighty is quatre vingt, literally four twenties. Here's a base six system from a language called Ndome, spoken in Papua New Guinea, and the word for seven is literally six plus one, and 12 is literally 6 times 2. The Babylonians used a combination of a base 10 and a base 60 counting system, which is why there are 60 minutes in an hour, because we got our system of timekeeping from them. So how do these different counting systems emerge? Well, it depends on what's being counted and why. The most common thing is to count parts of the body, and in a lot of languages, the words for numbers are still named after body parts. For example, we talk about our digits, meaning fingers and toes, but a digit is also a number. Base 10 and base 20 counting systems are the most common because you count your fingers and your toes. Other types of bases are really rare in languages. There are lots of different ways you can count fingers, depending on whether you include the thumb or the thumb joint or count the spaces between fingers, which was common in counting systems that were based on holding sticks between your fingers. And each of these different types of counting will give you a different base. Base 8 systems come from counting four fingers on each hand, and base 12 systems come from counting six fingers on each hand. Once you've counted all your fingers and toes, that's one person. And in the Inuit languages, the word for 20 comes from the word for person. In the Bororo language, the word for 9 is the one to the left of my middle finger, and the one for 13 is the one in the middle of my foot again. The Kaluli language of Papua New Guinea counts up the body like this. And the Oksapmin language of Papua New Guinea has a base 27 counting system that works like this. The Pomo language of California counted using sticks rather than body parts, so that the word for 20 is one stick. If you want to learn more about counting systems in the world's languages, here are two of my absolutely favorite books in linguistics that I highly recommend. These are both about endangered languages and what types of knowledge are lost when we lose endangered languages, and they both talk about counting systems. And if you're interested in these and you buy them through the Linguistic Discovery website, that helps support me as a creator so I can keep making cool content about language for you. If you thought this was cool and want to learn more about how language works, give me a follow!